The second thing that we can do is help customers who want to move their on-premises databases to AWS. And there is, generally speaking, two macro flavors or patterns. One is customers who want to move the same engine they're running on-premises to that same engine in RDS, and customers that want to switch from proprietary database engines to open database engines. And so when you're thinking about trying to do migration, anybody who's done this before knows it's hard. And you have to battle with this really hard decision, which is do you keep traffic running to the source as you're migrating and have to take care of managing all of the details and making sure you get the data right during the time it's migrating, which if you don't get it exactly right, can have disastrous consequences for your application, and even for your business, depending on your compliance and regulatory regime, or do you shut off traffic to the source and take downtime for the application? And depending on how large your database is, that can be many hours of downtime, which is also not very attractive. And companies can sometimes get some help with this. They can buy some tools that typically cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But if you're going to move a few databases, it's not very appealing to pay that type of money. And so we're excited to announce the launch of another new service called the AWS Database Migration Service. And this service allows you to easily migrate production databases to AWS with minimal downtime. And it's available in preview today. And so when you think about how you'd use this service, it allows you to continuously replicate the data from your source to the new target in AWS. You can even, if you choose to, you can even continue to continuously replicate data across your applications. Uh, outside of migrating, but it makes the continuous replication piece is very simple to migrate. It allows you to do that for a database of any size. You're able to track your progress with real-time monitoring on a GUI. And so it makes the ability, first of all, also it makes it simple to load that data. The database migration tool takes about 10 to 15 minutes to set up, so it's quick. And it means that you can move any like database from on-premises to AWS. And then you can do it much more quickly, as I mentioned, just about 10 minutes to set it up, and much less expensively than you had to do it before. So for instance, a one terabyte database that you wanted to migrate on-premises to AWS using the database migration service is going to cost you about $3. So that is a very different cost and agility model of being able to move your on-premises databases of one engine to the same engine in AWS. What about if you want to migrate from one of the proprietary engines to an open engine in AWS? Now, this is pretty tricky because moving the data itself is often the last mile of the migration. But sometimes, many times, the hardest part is figuring out how to transform the data from one database type to the other database type. It's not simple to do. These, these are things that take small teams often six to 12 months to do, and they have to do it very carefully. And so we're also excited to tell you about the launch of another new tool for you, which is the AWS Schema Conversion Tool. I'll take that enthusiastic response to mean people are interested in moving from the proprietary databases to the more open databases. And the tool is free of charge. It's available today. It's often what you have to do first when you're going to do a migration. It allows you to migrate between database engines reliably and easily. And so if you think about the pieces you have to do, it allows you to transform the data from uh, one database type to another. These are things like tables and partitions and sequences. And then it also allows you to copy the data, the data that's stored in the database, and these are things like views and, and stored procedures and triggers and functions, and it allows you to find the equivalent function in the other database type that you're trying to move to. And in cases where we can't actually find something reliably equivalent, we'll tell you about it, and we'll have links to manual guidance on how to address those things we couldn't do automatically. We think we'll be able to address about 80% of those automatically. And so if you think about it, the combination 
of the database migration service and the schema conversion tool radically changes the cost structure and the speed with which you can move databases from the old world to this cloud world.